All right, so I did promise if you hang on, I've had like five or six customers pop in. Uh oh, the cat's gonna be mad. Somebody close the bathroom door. She's gonna be furious, furious. That's what she does. She gets furious. Anyway, so we're gonna take, well, we're at the bathroom. Who starts in the bathroom on a review? I mean, a, a walkthrough. I don't know. Kimberly, Kimberly Magnet Hodes does. That's who does it. Anyway, so there's your bathroom. We got the cat litter boxes. Having them where the customers can see them has been a little bit of a strain. So the first thing you have to do when you open up is you have to go in here and screen out, scoop out the, them and clean up around the edges if she's made any messes. And we got to get us a high class, fancy uh, cat toilet in here. <laughs> maybe maybe a composting can <laughs> Anyway, we got to get us something high class in here. We're working on it, but uh, I'm still restocking and uh, so anyway so here's our stone wall and we're fixing to offer mystery boxes i know but what it'll be is is it'll be on the website and let's say you buy a ten dollar mystery box i will just go through the store i will see the spirits above i will send out my energies to find you <laughs> And then I'll get you the perfect thing, right? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And so maybe you'll get a stone or two in your order. Uh, maybe you'll get a bar of soap. So, and, and we might have some that says like um, bath and body only mystery boxes and other ones that might go mystical or metaphysical boxes or something. But those boxes or, or bags or whatever are fixed to be available on the website. And so then you might end up with some moonstone in your gift bag. So it's like Christmas. <coughs> so if it's your birthday and you really want to get a present that's a total surprise, you just come on the website and you spend however much you want to spend on your birthday. And there you go. I'll set, I'll set you up with a birthday present. So anyway, so that's our stone wall. And... Uh, some of my favorite ones. This is Zebra Jasper. I'm really fond of Zebra Jasper. And, um, and, 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 hang on. Oh, and I, I was supposed to get, oh, look at there. I've rotated it. I didn't even know you, there you go. <laughs> I was like, my finger's in the way. Why is my finger in the way? I, I, I've been carrying this big old chunk of um, hematite. Uh, because it, it, it's supposed to keep your blood pressure down and keep your temper under control. And what it was is, is I, I had it for Steve. <laughs> and uh, He's redheaded. And, uh, and uh, it ended up in my pocket somehow. And I've been carrying it around ever since. Like, I need trouble with temper control. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, here is our African turquoise. And, uh, whoop, 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 African turquoise. Oh, and our opalite is a big seller. Everybody loves opalite. And they make really pretty necklaces. Um, let's see. Here's emeralds. And now, if you want to add some things like this to your sale tables buy you amethyst quartz crystal rose quartz um citrine and obsidian and tiger's eyes red blue regular tiger's eyes and let me think. Some jasper is good. Um, but you can buy, I buy all these by the pound. You get online and you find them by the pound, tumbled. All right. And then on the amethyst points, which the bloodstone is missing for some reason. It, well, there's the bloodstone. Somebody moved the bloodstone. That's emerald. So now the labyrinth's missing. Sweet Jesus, what have they done? All right, so anyway, African turquoise, opalite, but amethyst points. These are untumbled, 
and it's just shards of amethyst. Those sell really good. And what I do is, is I just, if I paid, let's say, $20 for the pound, then I say $40. Then I say, okay, how many's in the bag? And let's say there's 30 in there. Well, then I divide it into whatever two times the money was. So if it was $20 I paid, I divide 30 into 40. And that's how much each one is. And then just keep adding. Moonstone, Moonstone's very popular. So uh, that right there, that's, that's a good way to, to add some fun to your sale pages is to sell some stones. And then uh, this, this is Tibetan good luck charms. And uh, we sell those. They just start, we just started selling those. And we got a whole bunch of these beautiful little um, feathered dream catchers. And then we got some big ones on the bottom. I found this rack on the side of the road. Somebody throwed it away. I love that. <laughs> And uh, here's our books. And we got anything from Chinese holistic medicine to healing essential oils, signs and symbols to, Christi to crystals. We have books that would relate to Christians. We have books that would, list, would, would relate to, um, uh, let's say, other religions. Uh, we just, it, it's sort of a metaphysical area, uh, but we have things like, um, Discovering the magical word of God. So see, we have Christian stuff in here. But then we also have, like, here's a book on pagan prayers. So uh, we're, we, uh, and here, how to, how to use pendulums to tell your future. You ever had that done when you was pregnant? Somebody got a pendulum over your belly and wiggled it around? Um, so, you know, we have all kinds of things from, uh, from, you know, like the chakra Bible, the Terra Bible, meditation, palmistry, all kinds of stuff like that. So we try, uh, here's one just on herbs and spices. So, you know, so we just, it, here's books on essential oils. So we try to, to try to be uh, hitting everybody, every market, because we have, we have people from all different religions that come in here. Um, these are some new things we just got. We just got the, the, what, a green man placard. Thor's hammer. Here is some clocks that we had, but we didn't have a place to hang them up, so we hung those up. Oh, let me take you back. We hung up something else, too. Hang on. We got these here, these long ones, and now I've got a beautiful wall to hang these up. This is the Tree of Life one. Don't you know that'd sound pretty on your porch? And, um, okay, so that now we're going to turn around and do the other side. So we have Grateful Dead t-shirts and that we're severely low. I've got to put in an order today. Uh, you can see how low we are. And then we have regular tie-dye shirts. And I did a video not long ago on where I buy these. So there's no reason why you couldn't buy these tie-dye shirts and sell them at your sale booths. And it's not like they're gonna get destroyed. Uh, you just gotta make sure you don't get them wet too bad, but See, this is some type of wash, and uh, I love these. Uh, we have, you know, the traditional tie-dye, too. Uh, this is their most popular design. It's called Cosmos or something. So this one here is their most popular design. So I buy a lot of those, and I sell a lot of those. Um, then uh, here is our tapestries, and we have some curtains in here. And basically, those are those things. Whoop. Those there. There. There we go. We sell those for 20 bucks a piece. And we just have a, we just, I just throw a bunch of them in my cart every time. Uh, we sell backpacks. Here's a Tree of Life backpack. Here's uh, a, I forget, the Triple Moon, they call it. Um, here's a Green Man. Green Man's really popular backpack, so we sell those. Then we have these wonderful backpack purses, and everybody loves those. Matter of fact, I just sold one of those. I sell those for $22.95, and yes, they may eventually get on my website, on the new website. I've missed y'all too. Now remember, you, 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 if you're a subscriber, that doesn't mean you get all notifications unless you hit the little bell now. There's a little bell you gotta hit. All right, so here we have 
small ones, like those big ones that you saw, dream catchers and Tibetan elephant elephants and and uh, all different kinds of stuff. Those are, are I think twelve ninety five for the big ones, and I think four something four ninety five for the little ones. And uh, then we have these purses. Whoop, ones fell. Yeah, those the little ones are four ninety five. That is supposed to be down here. I got to move it. So we have these purses here too. They're fifteen ninety five. Uh, I really love those. I haven't taken one of those home with me yet, but I really like them. And I was going to show you the other backpack. Here's one with the sun on it and the moon. And so that that's one wall. All right. So uh, here's our resins and powdered incense. And we have this new thing called worry dolls. And so... When you have worries and you want to focus on one worry and trying to help yourself work through it, especially like if you're working with counseling or something like that, you get out one of those little worry dolls and put them in your pocket. And there's a whole little list of things you do with your worry doll to help you work through the problem that you're having. And this is the bathtub. And we put one of those tapestries over it. But I think we're going to sell bath bombs in there. And then here is our display case. And... Uh, we got some new Tibetan bells. I hope y'all can see those okay. These are singing bowls. So there's that. And then we sell this non-tobacco blend of Smoker's Aid. It's a blend of, let's see, uh, mullein, nettle, calf's foot, Damien, I think, and Dandelion. So that's real good. And uh, then we have our bath salts. And we have a little scale here. And we have bags. We've got to put some more bags out here for people to get their own. And uh, then we have our... These are Tibetan bells, too. Each one of them is in a different note. So this is the G note. And... Uh, we like those. We got cone incense this time with cone burners. Got some little benches. Lots of journals. So we sell those. And then incense. I've been selling incense from day one because I love incense. And look at this little triple moon table. I love that. Oh, I love these. <laughs> That's funny right there. That's funny. And uh, I love this Day of the Dead stuff. I swear, I think we really don't sell enough of it, but I love it so much I keep it in here anyway. Got our empty containers. I love this new size. It's a high founcey. That's, I, I, if I ever do lip balms, I'm putting it in that. It has a screw on lid. I'm fond of that. I'm so glad you're with me today. Oh, this is the Kitty Cat Nurturing Center. Some people keep moving her chair. It fits up in there. We've got to strap it down. See, that way she can, she can play with her toy as it dangles. I know it, baby. Is this your place? We got a little brush so people can brush her. Yeah, you need, you need loving today, don't you? And we lay, we lay a few treats up here for the customers to give her when they come in. And then they can play with her with their toys and brush her. And we have, of course, our kitty table. And... Uh, Oh, look at the front. We put that tapestry up because Bridget was sweating to death. The sun comes in there. Looks like I have an employee with a question. Uh, how do I do the steric? Steric acid. All right. Tell you what. We, we got any dishes dirty back there? 
Wash that. Oh, oh, I brought a bag of jars. Uh, they're mushroom jars, where you, but they're glass with a black lid, and there's a sticker label on there. And I want to try to wash the sticker label off without taking the black paint off the jar. So that means soaking them in hot, soapy, bleachy water, just a small pan, and then coming in and slowly working with them and trying to get those labels off. They're in a plastic bag back there. Uh, uh, the soy, where is that at? Huh, the soy? Well, I'll, we'll get back with that, but you do additions because I'm gonna have to help you with those two new phases. He's learning how to measure out soap making oils. All right, so here's our candles. And, uh, different bath, natural bath and body products and and then those we got some new ones now we're doing these right here and uh, oh I, I skipped it now more containers more incense I sell these for a dollar fifty I buy them in boxes of six if you could buy these in dragon's blood, sandalwood, let's see, dragon's blood, sand, uh, sandalwood. What else would be considered the, the ones? Uh, frankincense and myrrh, copal. Um, you know, Sometimes people just buy things. It's called love and sex. I mean, you know, people just buy that. Uh, we have one here. Fairy dreams. You know, buy things that would fit the people that come to your market. So you know your area. So if you're going to have a lot of Spanish individuals coming to your market, get the the healing ones um, and if you're gonna uh, fast luck if you're gonna have people younger people you know fast luck um, if it's the tattooed crowd uh, as I say oh white sage you can't go wrong with white sage white sage every religion loves white sage except for maybe one or two if you, it's bug season get some citronella patchouli and this cinnamon patchouli is awesome, you know. But get you some incense, buy them in the box of six so you can get them cheaper, and sell them at your, you know, just get, you know, just get 10, 15 kinds and sell them. And you can, I buy these for nearly 50 cents a piece, I think it is, wholesale. And so I sell them for $1.50, you know. And then you can get these higher classed ones here. You know, these are $10.95. You know, ten ninety five. Sell a little, uh, sell a few of those. You can't go wrong with a few incense in most crowds, but you know you crowd. And then here we have, you know, essential depot stuff predominantly. You know, if you're in an area where glycerin and little bottles of vitamin E, um, if uh, rice bran oil or argon oil or you know grapeseed oil. Or, uh, almond oil, any of these little oils, little tubs of shea butter. I mean, this size here, let me see. This is cocoa butter, but they did have this size in shea butter. I mean, as long as you're not getting to the point where you're melting this all the time out in the sun, you could sell the hound dog out of little tubs of shea butter. Um, look at it. Organic extra virgin olive oil, little bitty bottles. Uh, so that's a good one. We, know we sell Vagana and Acuma. We sell those here. We like those. These keep me from eating sugar. I love that. Uh, so then we sell herbs. Just all kinds. The system I have on this is, is I buy two. No, one. I buy one. One month. And the next month when I make an order, if it's still there, I don't buy another one. I just leave it. But if it's gone, I buy two. And so that helps because that means somebody really liked to buy that one. Those jars and lids are only a quarter if you buy them from Green Giant. Heck, I didn't even know Green Giant was, was a seller of, uh, oh, the little mushroom jars. What it is is we have people, come here. 
Um, I, I, I know some people might not agree with this, but some people use these for spell jars. And it's like a worry stones to some degree. They'll put things like maybe they're having a, a, a boss that's really giving them trouble at, at work. They'll put things in, about their situation in here, maybe a newspaper clipping, a stone for peace, um, you know, some different things in here, and they bury them in the backyard. <laughs> and we sell these for $1.25 a jar. And so I had a whole bunch of these. I'm, I'm a save jars all the time. So I had all these little mushroom jars that were about this size um, that had resealable labels. <laughs> And so I'm um, gonna just clean the labels off of them and put them out here and sell them. They'll be they'll be sold as used, but uh, I'll sell them, uh, you know, let's say for fifty cents. And uh, and I've put them, I'm recycled them. I've put them back out into the world, uh, you know, to where they won't. I mean, and, and most likely they're gonna be buried in somebody's yard. Uh, but but you think about it, they didn't get put in the landfills that way. I know, I'm crazy. I just try to uh, to find things in Fort Payne that you can't get nowhere else. <laughs> and that's something you can't really buy nowhere else. Anyway, so, because if you can buy it at Walmart and the other stores, I ain't going to do well selling it. I got to buy, I got to sell things you can only buy here. <laughs> so anyway, so we got some of uh, those. And these are powders. You know, red sandalwood powder, ginseng, eye bright, devil's claw foot, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, black salt, cinnamon powder. And we have people come in here, all different things, like their dog, they want to give their dog cinnamon powder and turmeric powder, you know, and then we have people that want to buy sulfur powder to try it for arthritis. So you never know, <laughs> salt Peter. You know what salt Peter will do? <laughs> he won't go nowhere else because he won't feel like going nowhere. <laughs> That's what women used to keep their to keep their men at home. All right. So here is the sage, uh, the saging table. We've also got long sweet grass uh, braids, uh, saging prayers, uh, books on saging. Um, we've also got some. These are good to sell. It's it, they use them in hookahs, and they and we use them for to hand, to burn herbs. So if you want to make your own homemade incense, each one of the little charcoal bricks, you can light it and lay it in something that it won't hurt when it burns, or put it in a bowl with a good healthy layer of salt in the bottom, and you can burn your own resins and herbs on it. And we sell tongs for just that purpose, so that people don't melt their plastic tongs trying to light them. <laughs> and then we have tarot cards. You can't get those nowhere. You have to drive two hours to get to a store or less. Maybe in between an hour and two hours to get somewhere that you can buy those. And so we sell them. We sell the hound dog out of them. And they don't have to go online. They can come. They can touch. They can pick what they want. So it's a wonderful thing to sell. But it might not be your best thing to sell on a on a soaping table at a craft show or craft fair. But we sell little boxes with all different kinds of symbols on it. I love the cat, the black cat. Um, we sell those over and over. I buy them. As soon as that one's gone, I buy another one. Here is our candle tables and uh, mortar, petzel. Oh, our beverages. And this is our black light posters which there may be a small selection of black light posters in Walmart, but I bet they don't have as controversial ones as I do. <laughs> so, so I sell them, I sell them, I sell them, sell them, sell them, because you can't get those anywhere else around here. So that's my motto, is you find a niche to, for your store, along with your homemade soaps and stuff, if you're gonna do a store, you find what you can't sell, what, no, what you can't buy anywhere else. And we're down here in the Bible Belt, and, uh, so it's really hard to find a, uh, a stoned uh, to the bone uh, poster. <laughs> Matter of fact, I left my eyes off when I first seen it. But I still, I'm out of them right now. <laughs> That's the only one I got. But so, you know, so it's 420 somewhere. You might get that at Walmart. But the Graham Reefer, I doubt you will. And, uh, or at least in our Walmarts down here at the, in the Bible Belt. And, uh, which I love to be in, but we have a very low crime rate and, uh, and things are not super expensive. You can buy a house, really great prices. 
So anyway, so we sell all kinds of stuff like that. Did I get everything? Yeah. Okay, I got everything on that aisle. Let's take you to the next one. So here is the wall of soaps. There is tons of soaps. As you can see right now, our restful lavender has got to be made. And uh, we were out of bar number 10. Um, bar number seven disappears. Bar number six too. And the ones we have to make the most of, and we're almost out of, is nine and eight and two and twenty and two and twenty-two. That's our most popular numbers. Uh, and our wart soap. People get warts all over the place. This is so much better than painting it with that with that acid. And uh, our spirit liver soaps. We sell tons of those. Lots of spirit lifter soaps. So, and then we sell tinctures, all kinds of tinctures, chamomile for sleeping, celery seed, bladder walk, bladder, and, and, and there's just so many of those. And if you get them hot, um, if you get them too hot, they die. I don't recommend those, sell them on your tables. Uh, so right here, we have little herb mixes. These are used for burning. So let's say if you wanted to purify, oh, well, Kimberly dropped it. Down we go, up we go. We got to fix it. I'm gonna tell you something right now. If you buy some of the, it's just not being nice to me today. <laughs> we'll fix it later. Okay, so if you wanna purify your house, say you can buy this little purify mix which I can't hang back up because I can't keep the hanger on the shelf um, and and you can burn that on those little uh, uh, we call it um, charcoal disc okay and uh, so we have a host to supply those and then here's more herbs see a lot of people like to burn sage like this so they don't want to carry it around in the house they want to lay it on a charcoal disc charcoal disc keep it burning um, here's chopped up sage and then we have aloe vera oh i forgot to put these up i got to put these up i will and this right here was supposed to go up here and it always sits at the end there we go we'll put it right there for sale um and uh, so anyway so We've got neti pots and smoker's aid. I gotta get more of that. Um, kava and saw palmetto and different things here. And then Essential Depot fragrances. We sell those to people. And we're done with this aisle. So now let's go back. That's uh, Tibetan Harmony Bells. I love those. Uh, we got more candles. I love the little black candle. You know, I just love my black cat, so I just got lots of black cat stuff. Um, and uh, it's our African black soap or black African soap. I never can keep it straight. Um, I bought a pound by accident. It's for sale. I know supposed to look at the ounce of the size but before you add it to your shopping cart you will know how big a pound of herb is that's it it's 30 bucks there we go uh oh it gets fussy when you tilt the thing anyway so and we're a low of teas I got to refill teas and oh, I'm so low of creams. I gotta make creams and fill the shelf up really good. And we're still dusty from the move. Look, we gotta get those dusted. And we sell ear candles and capsule machines and caps. And these are empty. I gotta tell you a funny story. People keep coming up to me and asking me if these veggie caps are real good for you. They're empty. 
They're made from vegetable sub, substitute, so vegetable substitutes instead of uh, horse hooves. <laughs> and they want to. They think there's veggie powder in them. I got to put a new name on them next time. Maybe I'll put vegan on them or something. Maybe I'll use the word empty. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, there's some wax melts. Got to refill the shampoos. So, I'll take you to the jewelry section now. You want to see the back? I know, I've not been paying attention to comments. I've been bad. Let's see. Okay. Oop. There it went. I had to press a button. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all have been leaving all kinds of messages. Thank you for loving my new place. And good morning to you. And hi back. And good afternoon. It's morning to almost to me. And uh, oh yes, I am live. And uh, oh, thank you for loving my store. And wow, everything looks great. Thank you so much. Blue lapis. Yes, I have lapis. Oh, that stuff's expensive. Uh, rose quartz, amethyst, turquoise, moonstones. Yep. Tiger's Eye, Onyx, uh, Obsidian, need Obsidian. Uh, so happy you're back on YouTube. Been missing you. Y'all guys, I've only been off for a couple weeks. See, what happens is, I think, is y'all don't have, they've got this new system where you gotta put the, ba you gotta click the bell, you know? So y'all are not getting notifications on my videos like you normally were before. Cause now you've gotta click the bell if you wanna get a notification every time I post a video. All right. Uh, oh, somebody's coming to visit me. Thank you. Our ear coning kits. That sort of sounds like ear candles there, but I'm not sure what an ear coning, C -O coning, C O N I N G kit is. And thank you for missing me. <laughs> yes, we're going to rub alcohol on them. I've got him soaking them right now and doing dishes. Uh, we really miss Ruby, but Ruby decided that she just couldn't live without choir, and choir is the last class of the day, so that means that she don't get out of school till 3 o'clock, and uh, if she don't get out of school till 3 o'clock, she can't be here till 3.30 to 4.00. And I got to have that kid earlier than that. She was supposed to be getting out of school like 12 or 1 o'clock every day. Uh, so anyway. Any ear combing kits. I wish I knew what that meant. Yeah. Hey, they think I'm funny. You never know. I'm trying to read all these comments. Oh, how much, uh, on average, how much do I sell my soap bars for? Here in the store, we sell them for $5 a piece. All right, on this, on the website, we sell them for like $6, you know, because we have extra fees and stuff, you know, online selling fees, website fees, uh, shipping fees, and shipping supplies. We don't charge extra for shipping supplies, and some things we have to buy. Here's a lady that says uh, uh, that she really likes my store, that she is uh, descended from Druids and Natives. We have a lot of Native Americans that visit us. I'm so glad y'all like my store. Y'all are giving me such wonderful ear coning. They are like paper cones you put in the ear and burn them. It yes, that's called an ear candle. Hang on. Hang on. Uh... Brenda Bobwin, I think it was. It disappeared pretty fast. Hang on. We sell ear candles. I'm right sure they is. I showed those. Those are ear candles. You put that end in your ear, and, you know, you put where it will be standing straight up, and you set this end on fire. 
fire. <laughs> and then it burns down and it sucks stuff out of the air. <laughs> and then you, I like to have a bowl of water on the table. And when you're done, you just pick it up and go right in the water. And then you can cut it open and see what's in there. And I cut one open and got pieces of, a, of night crawler bugs out of a guy's ear. He was happy to be rid of that, let me tell you. And uh, so anyway, um, I tell you, I can, I, I, I'm about getting ready for lunch. I brought tuna salad today. Now let's see, well, oh, I was gonna show you. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I do this all the time. Let's see, people will be looking in the crystal ball and I'll say, and these right here are supposed to be more like this. And I'll say, do you see your future? And they'll go, no. And I'll say, look closer. <gasps> That's what it is. <laughs> your future is a chakra tree of life break necklace. And then they giggle and I giggle. <laughs> and I'll say, I'll really get them in there. I'll go, oh, look, let's see what your future is. Get in there. Really focus. See what you can see. Where's your, what's your future? Boing. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to get kicked by somebody eventually. But we all have a good time when we do that. And as you know, I'm not supposed to talk about that stuff. Oh, we got some of the coffee on the burner today. Oh, I like the coffee. Somebody's left me a chocolate poster. I'm going to have to put that up. Uh, so I sell lots of that stuff. And then I have my paparazzi jewelry. And we sell that for $5 a piece. And uh, this right here has sort of gotten out of whack. There we go. So this rotates, that's my paparazzi jewelry. I think I've got you where you can see. And we sell that here. And we just really got it displayed because before we was in a place where we did not have a place to display it. Uh, we just didn't have room. And um, there we go. And we got our little girls. I know you're not gonna believe these, but I found these on the side of the road. Somebody threw these away. They were just sitting in the top of a box. Um, here is uh, uh, bracelets. Uh, these would be a good seller for your display. And you can buy these little bracelet holders really cheap online. I sell these for $2.50 a piece. And they're all, you know, made out of this stuff, and it's and they sell really good. I bought tons of those, and I sell them as fast as I get them. I, I really forgot to restock those because I had a bunch of those, and now I don't. Uh, we do the point uh, necklaces. I buy these gross, and then I make the string. I actually go to Walmart and buy this black leather or the brown leather cording and make the necklace myself. We sell lots of these. I love those. And then this is still not got filled back up. Here's some more of my paparazzi jewelry. Here's some, but that it, I don't know if you heard, but the movers piled all my necklaces up in a little bitty box and they got all entangled. And I'm still trying to get those things entangled. Uh, so anyway, so here now we're going to put some Pokemon stuff in. We're going to have sort of a little Spencer's maybe area right here. And um, guys, this is the story. If you want to do well in business, do not do it on credit. Do it slow and pay for everything in cash. Uh, don't put, don't go get credit cards and put everything on credit card. Right now, there's several areas of the store you heard me say, I need to refill them. Well, I had to wait till I had the cash to refill them. But what happens is, is I put in a few hundred dollars worth of something, but I've got to pay for that with cash. If I had a credit card that had, let's say, five or $10,000 credit limit on it, I might spend a thousand or $2,000 on a new product that I really think is gonna sell. And then what if nobody buys it? If nobody buys it, then I've wasted money and I've got to pay it back. But if I just buy what I can afford, like a car payment's worth of something, then I can then turn around. And if that is a loss, I can discount it and try to get rid of it and try to at least make my money back. But when you buy several thousands of dollars worth of stuff because it's on credit and it don't hurt you to buy it,
then you can end up getting yourself in trouble. And I saw businesses go out of business. Matter of fact, both of the health food stores that was down the road from me, they all went and spent several thousand dollars, maybe ten or twenty thousand dollars on credit cards to re to stock their stores, and then people didn't buy the stuff they picked out, <laughs> and then they went out of business. So, yeah, stay away from credit. Stay away from credit. Um, so anyway, so this is our store. So now we're going into the back. It's a little messy. Uh, here's our coffee station. And uh, we're doing CBD coffee and tea station. Uh, we got some tea we're going to make a little bit later. So we still got tools going on because we still got one outlet over here we got to put up at the thing and then uh, an outlet up there we got to put in. <sighs> we're filling soaps up. And uh, this is our work table and this is our eating table. And we smoke cigars there sometimes too. I don't know if y'all remember, but I quit smoking. So if there, if people get to smoking around me, I, I I rare you know just not even one a day. But if people get or if I go somewhere and a lot of people smoking, I, I've got the uh, I'm doing blueberry today. He, he smokes, and I tell him I say you can't smoke cigarettes in here because the smell goes all the way to the front store. You can't smoke cigarettes in here, but you can actually smoke a little cigar. And so this is blueberry. He likes blueberry. Back here, nobody fusses about them. They smell good when they burn. And they don't, I don't know, there's just something different. So do we like blueberry? Yep. Yep, we like blueberry. And uh, so y'all might have met Mike. Mike is just getting established here. Uh, and and, and his, uh, his wife has uh, got a job now, and, and they got their own apartment. Did you tell me you got Wi-Fi now? Yes, ma'am. He don't have I to. I got Wi-Fi, cable, and a telephone. And a telephone. He's he's in high society now. And uh, so anyway, so this is our our shelves. But when Ruby decided to take choir, I had to find somebody quick, and 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 he was available. And I never had a guy for an employee, but Mike here. He, he, he really works well with me, so we're giving it a, a try. And I sat down, Steve, and I said, Steve, I said, now I want to make sure this ain't going to be an issue with you because, you know, I've been having a man employee at the store and, and everything. And, and he said he wasn't jealous at all of Mike. And I said, well, Mike's married, and, and, and he's younger than I am, and, and there's not going to ever be an issue like that. But I want to make sure you're comfortable. And so he said he was comfortable. So Mike got the job. <laughs> uh, so, because family peace at home comes first, and uh, so that, that had to come first. We had to make sure Steve was comfortable, and because uh, he's my baby, and, and we got all of our stuff sitting out here on these shelves. And Mike, we got these to fold up. If you get to where you can't do something, we got a whole bag of these uh, cloths and stuff that are washed that needs to be folded and put up here. So if you run out of something to do, let me know, okay? okay. All right, so how are you coming on that? I got two, I have three of them with the labels off I thought them. you was soaking them for me. I thought you asked me to take the labels off for you. No. See, sometimes, sometimes you have to, when I talk as fast as, if anybody talks as fast as I do, sometimes they have to tell people twice. No, you get those, get you one of them little parts right there, I'll show you. Okay, uh, okay. and um, most of it off anyway. I know, I know, but if you'll pre-soak them, you don't have to work as hard. Okay. Working, not working as hard is always good, right? Yeah. Well, we usually, when uh, somebody just made a comment about the cigar, uh, sometimes we'll like at lunch, we'll uh, smoke a few puffs off of one, and then uh, after hours, like when the store shuts down, sometimes we'll smoke one, and sometimes we won't. Uh, sometimes he will and I won't, but it's not like, you know, we're like a cigarette. Cigarette people sit and smoke cigarettes just one after another after another, and they're just constantly, constantly looking to see where they can go to get another cigarette. And uh, is that hot water? All right. So let's put, put the, oh, you got one right there. Put some soap in it. More than that. You know what the soap does? It's the way it does. No, soap gets up underneath the glue. Oh, okay. All right, now where's the bleach? We are not out, are we? There, it, yep, right there. Put a cap full of bleach in there. And then let those soak for about 30 minutes or so. And then when you come back, 
they, those, those labels will come off much easier. All right. And then you can get to uh, folding those towels up for me, okay? All right. All right. So, and here's the little jars. Say, so we're going we're gonna to do those. Did you wash these real good for me? Yes, All right. So, and we're going to put those out there for sale for like 50 cents. And that will get them back into the, the get them back into to the world of use. Instead of sitting on my shelf or being thrown in my garbage. Oh, I think I got a store. I got a customer. Isn't this nice? Howdy, we'll be right with you. Oh, hey! Oh, I'm so glad you looked. Guess who it is? We're doing a live video. And it's we're here, it's real daylight. Where you are, it's dark. So you, holler out who he is. Remember Jesse? We love Jesse. All right, so it's Jesse. I put. I'll see if she won't get on the video with me. I bet she will. So we got our containers and our refrigerator. This one's broke. Got to have the repairman come work on it. And this is insulation to go up here. And then this is like supplies. And then here we're gonna have our lie. Uh, making table and another shelf for supplies and stuff so all of our shipping supplies and crafty supplies is, and business supplies is going to be back there and then we have all of our oils off the floor and and these tables will be gone uh, this is just while we're working and then here we're going to have these foldable tables we're going to put put them up whenever we're working on big orders for places to set the jar from the cool in this area so how's it look and i don't know what a super chat hang on I, why don't you have the super chat up i was going to do a super chat and there's no money sign. I don't know what the super chat is. Here's the share mute microphone. No. There's all different like things you can do, but none of it seems like that would be something I would want to do. <laughs> there's a top chat, live chat, none chat. I got live chat on. And there's the rotate the camera, but. I don't know what the super chat is. Y'all are going to have to explain it to me. <laughs> we got to come see. Come see. It's got a drawer. I saw that. That's so cool. Isn't it? Hey, guys. How are you? I, <laughs> I thought you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Ah, you caught us. Me. I was taking everybody on tour. I love the new place. It is so awesome. Isn't it, though? It just, like, it looks so at home. I know. That's what, what everybody says. When they walk in, they're like, oh, your stuff looks like so come. good in here. I know. They're like, I feel like I've come home. And and they say things like, they some people cry. It's a good space. It is. It's a really good space. And I it has really it good energy. It does. It feels good. We had to work really hard for that. When we first came in, the energy was really bad in this building. I'm glad there's no more pink walls. And the pink walls the is pink gone walls too. Gone. The pink walls are gone yeah, too. They did not suit your vibes. Right, at all. Well, you know, there were several people trying to put a business in here. Oh, yeah. And nobody could get the doors open. And we found that lemonade sign. Uh, sign. Mm -hmm. come, come look at it. We I found... Videos, yeah, we, well, we found this old dilapidated lemonade sign, uh, sign. I mean, that thing, it, it's actually got a crack that runs halfway up it. So I could have broke it in two with just the slightest pressure. And... Uh, but what do you make when you get a lemon? Lemonade. You make you lemonade. Make lemonade. <laughs> yeah. So you that's this building's official uh, official thing. Yes. We're making lemonade. Yeah. And nobody else got nothing but lemon here. We got lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So Isn't it though? Is. You wanna come back? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's set up so nice. Isn't it though? It is. Yeah. We're fixing to get into all the wholesale stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. We've got some contracts, and we're going to do some wholesale oh, stuff. Yeah, that like what we wanted to do in the past, and we're really excited about it uh, and everything. And so we make things over here. Of course, we're like, this is lunch, yeah. you know. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Come on, guys, let me show you. Oh, you got when, no, yeah, but this is different. When we moved, mm -hmm. okay, 
I told them to really delicately pick up my jewelry mm -hmm. thing that was holding my, my handmade uh, wrapped stones wow. and put them in a box and then put it in my front seat and I'd drive it over here. Mm -hmm. But they decided to take the necklaces off first. No. Yes, and they piled them up Dude. in a pile in a little bitty box and yeah, but you can't get it out. No, you know. <laughs> so I'm having to take all of these off one at a time, sitting, and, and you have to work till you get where they're connected, take it off. Mm -hmm. And I think after we get these off, I'll be able to slowly work these apart. Because when I was trying to work them apart without this, oh, no. it wasn't happening. No. That is so cute. That Isn't it though? Is. It's lapis, I think. I love that blue. Oh, look at this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They're cool. I know, so, yeah, eventually we'll get those back on the shelf. I know, everybody falls down here, but. It's just a very small drop too. Isn't it? it catches you off yeah, the look, look, 1945. I wonder what the pH is for. I don't know, but you know, my my maiden name starts with pH. Right. Yeah, but, and then, and no. Then eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, oh yeah, hoes. Like yeah! <laughs> Phillips that's Hodes, you. that's it, that's it. That's you. That's it. That's meant to be it. There place. you go, there you go. And so this building was made in 1945 mm -hmm. and it's considered the new part. Oh, really? Yeah, this is the old part. And we're, ta we're talking 1900s or 1800s. This was one of our original downtown buildings. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's I know. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Yeah. All it's come back to life. My landlord's just... very happy. Oh, yeah, I bet. It yeah. is awesome. The black yeah. ceiling is great. Yeah, we're still sort of. It's so oh. magical in here. I know, I know. Come look back here. I've already showed y'all guys, but I'm going to show her. So it's behind this piece too before. I'm fixing to buy a stainless steel table. I actually bought a stainless steel mm -hmm. table, and Amazon couldn't figure out how to get it to me, so they refunded it. <laughs> One time I called them, and they said, somebody's driving that to the post office, because it was like way late. And I'm like, somebody's driving it to the post office. The post office people, don't they come, a transfer truck come to mm -hmm. the Amazon places and they put things on the transfer truck? Mm -hmm. I said, but no, that's not happening. Somebody's driving it to the post office. Uh-huh, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so they ended up refunding my money and I was like, oh, hell. I was busy. So anyway, so look. It's a fan to suck the light of you. Oh, so, yeah. You I, needed that. Yes, 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 you yes. That. So, look at that. I know. In an outlet for the scale for weighing. And so the table's going to be right here. So we can mix lye without That's fumes. Good. It's the little thing. Yeah. I know. It's just it's the, the little, little thing. thing. It's just the little thing. So look at these steps. Where'd they go? I wish that, the, yeah, it goes out. Uh, it goes out to the back. You want to see? Come on, look at these beautiful steps. This man, my landlord, he has wood stacked up in his buildings from the 1800s, I think. So. Oh, no, I wouldn't think it would come out. You'd think it would be. That's the lawyers. I see those is why I wouldn't think it would come out. With yeah, and, they, and now I'm actually standing on the lawyer's property. All this grassy and charred area belongs to him. So I have to park my car over there. You won't let you park right here? No. He was very pointed about the fact that I could not park here. Well, that's okay. There you go. I still love it. You got graffiti. That's cool. Yeah, I got I got graffiti. That's Snoopy. Looks like Snoopy. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's not Snoopy. That's that that's that dog, uh, um, where they were always chasing ghosts and stuff. Scooby Dooby Doo. It's Scooby. That's it. That's a green Scooby. Or maybe Scooby was green. I don't know. It's, I think it's a green Scooby. And I love my Volkswagen over there. Oh, yeah. But I'm thinking about having something else painted right here in the middle. But I want to keep the car and Scooby. Yeah. I like yep. I love your new building. It's so we love amazing. it. I, I love it. I'm so happy. Uh, if you could get online and watch the first videos in the series about the store, you were just, I, they were building the steps here for me. And push. There you go. Yeah, I and, uh, your videos. I watched them. Okay. Well, did you ever see what they built me there that day? And I had to come in and have about have a duck fit about. You know, what did they do? They built this odd thing. One of the steps was actually under the other step, so you had to sort of happily put your foot on this one and then step on top of the step yeah. directly on top of it. And I was just like, no, uh uh, it's not gonna work. Uh uh. 
The UPS man. I killed the UPS man. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had a duck fit, and they built me some real steps. Well, they're sturdy, too. Yeah. I was polite, though. I'm so glad you upgraded. You needed to upgrade and get your service. Mm-hmm. This is going to go here, and that, of course, that won't be there. And we still got a couple of boxes we're dealing with. Your workspace is great. It's so big back here. It is. It's awesome. I'm real fond of it. You still doing the classes? We're going to start doing classes again, but not until I get everything uh, nailed down. I was just going to say, there's going to be good back there with the class because you've got room for people now. Oh, yeah. Now, before you yeah. have four or five. Yeah, now I can have nine students yeah. or ten students at a while. And room for everybody to see what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it's so perfect. I love it. Yeah, and so, so good. anyway, so now I've been good. And uh, uh, look, there we go. So they wish it wasn't so far apart. Beautiful space. Thank you. When I get a lemon, I make bold salmon. <laughs> Super chat is where people can make donations to your channel by you being a you. For, well, that's pretty nifty. I didn't know people could make donations okay, to your channel that. during a live video. We need that, though. I suppose. It wouldn't hurt. I mean... I don't know what we use for, but we find something. Oh, well, I just spent several hundred dollars yeah. on uh, all these things that you could hold the phone with to make videos. Oh, yeah. Who knows where I put them? I, you see me doing it with my hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm switching hand. Look, look, look. Yeah. Switching hand. <laughs> but you bought this real... I did. Tool. I bought two of them. <laughs> Somewhere. But I was doing a live video. I just hit go live, you know, in between customers. <laughs> Yesterday, Bridget was so small, and I've got a new system. And as the cash register tail increases, once it hits a certain mark, Bridget starts getting bonuses. Oh. Yes. And so she made a $30 bonus yesterday. Okay. Uh, I know. And so, honey, it's she was. Incentive. That's right. Yeah. Incentive. And, honey, she's, she took me down. I'll call her up and, and I'll say, are you busy? She oh, we've been swamped. And I told them they'd rather have the 1500 so they wouldn't have to come back in here so often. I couldn't get them to buy. <laughs> Fifteen hundred costs one hundred seventy-four dollars. <laughs> That's why they didn't get it. She's right, though. She's just trying to save them a trip. I know, and she's working on a ten-dollar bonus. That's right. Because <laughs> it goes up. It starts with a twenty-dollar bonus, mm -hmm. and then it goes up ten dollars after that as the till goes up. Oh yeah. And remember when we used to make under a hundred dollars in a day mm -hmm. and, and be happy that we was alive? Yeah. That's the way it was when we first started. The first opened. few days, in yeah. the first few months. Now. Yeah, well, the fir first I, I year. Did, I was in there for a year. Yeah. So if we made over a hundred dollars in a day, it was like, Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I do remember those. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and so uh, uh, <laughs> now you know a hundred dollars a day. Well, that's, that's just devastating. Now. No, if you just made a hundred dollars in a day, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. but you know that you do this slowly, guys. You slowly work up, you slowly, you know, afford things. You scrape up money and you buy stuff cash. Remember when the first time we bought some of these candles and herbs? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I bought $350 worth, yeah. I think, of them. And I had no and idea if people... small quantities, too, Yeah, we didn't yeah. know. Yeah, we, we didn't know if people would buy them or not. And let me show you something. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we bought mm -hmm. then, okay? This is terrible. But sometimes things just hang on the shelf and they don't have an expiration date. Right. That's oh, the, yeah. those ladies' choice teas. Yeah. That's the teas that come in that first order. That first order. Nobody likes those much. And and every once in a while, you know, a couple of bags a year would sell. Yeah. <laughs> and so I throwed them in the discount bin and it was like, my God, those things have got to be four years old uh, or three years but old. They don't go bad. I don't look at them, but tea, look at them, tea don't go bad. So now they're a dollar. They're a dollar. And that's a good deal, too. Pleasant Dreams tea. Who see? Don't need Pleasant Dreams for a dollar. There you go. So I mean, see, and but see, if I had have been using credit cards, I might have bought $500 oh, yeah, worth of Ladies' that. Choice teas. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't have afforded no. for five hundred dollars of ladies' choice teas mm -hmm. to sit on my shelves no. for four years. Absolutely not. Right. So you gotta pay cash. Pay cash. That's the key. That is the that key. That is the key. Pay That's cash. the pay cash. Don't get involved with credit yeah, when it comes to opening people. a business. That's right. Because you ha you make choices, you're like, Well, you know, I gotta have money still to pay the bills, you know, and stuff. Well, I bet she probably needs to check out. But I wanted to show you. I showed them, but look at the kitty cat oh, nurturing center. 
This is the kitty cat nurturing center. We keep some, we keep treats right here. This is her daily allowance, and people can give her one. I know, but see, then as a customer, you can give her one, and that makes her love the customers even more because now they give her the treats instead of us. She's thriving right along with the business. There you go. Did you know that customers paid for this? Did they? Uh, she, my daughter decided that she needed a tip jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we put a tip jar out there. I said, okay, whatever you think. I thought, well, we'd get, you know, pennies and everybody loves Miss Kitty. That was, that was nearly 70 bucks for that thing. And the customers put 70 bucks over a course of four months or so in there. Oh. I know. And we went and bought it for her. And, and she loves it. And she loves it, and she's loved this Just Do It chair ever since I drug it off the side of the road you where somebody your, threw it away. You and your dumpster find. <laughs> I know. That little bathtub that sat in your window that you found on the side of the road. Yes, yes, but it was sitting on the, in a yard. Yes. And, and I went up, and there was Mexican gentlemen taking it out of a house. Mm -hmm. I did give them $75 for it. They did want 150 when they started. Fun, <laughs> it was, it was but it was fun. on the side of the road, you know. Now, now, guess what I found on the side of the road today? What? A wood picnic table. Oh. All one piece with the benches and the mm -hmm. table and everything. But I was in my car, you know, and, and it was like the size of my car. Yeah. It was sitting upside down on top of some brush where somebody decided they didn't want it anymore. It might have a few rotten spots. Maybe a plank needs to be replaced, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, I called Bridget, and they went and fetched it yep. for their yard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey. <laughs> We're terrible. We're terrible. We're terrible. So now, uh, for those of you who wonder, there's all these cars out here. There's just two spaces here and one space across the street and on the whole lot. Yeah. Guess who has five cars on this road? Okay. Fontana's. All five employees refuse to park in the city parking lot and park here. Today, I watched the Fontana's lady Get at, she had parked right in front of her own business, but when it was time to open, she got in her car and she drove around and she parked in front of this business, leaving them with no parking because there was already two parked cars there. Yeah. And she parked there and walked down to her business. You know, I used to work there. When they Did first you? Opened, remember? Really? I forgot that. Months, and we parked up here in front of the other businesses. Yeah. I didn't even know there was parking back here. That's the city parking lot. But guess what happened whenever they parked all five cars in front of my business? They moved. They did move. You know why? Because you told them to. No, because I parked all four of my employee cars in front of theirs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they don't park in front of my store anymore. We are but, just alive. <laughs> and they've never had anybody do that before. Oh, well, <laughs> well, anyway, I know you need to check out. I'm being bad. I love and uh, and I'm so glad that you got to come in and everybody got to see Jesse. Hi guys. <laughs> it looks so beautiful in here. Doesn't it? It really does. Really good job. All right. Bye, Bye everybody.